Chad, a solid 4-1 to one win for the Yellow Jackets today over Concordia. Just talk about how the team was really clicking from the very start of the game, possessing the, wall, the ball really well from the back to the front. Um, today, just all of our passes were spot on. Everyone was moving off the ball, which made it really, really easy for us. So just as a team, our intensity was really high, and we were all having fun, which just makes the game that much better. And you had your first career goal today for the Yellow Jackets. I'm not convinced that you were necessarily shooting on the play, maybe just trying to play a long ball in the box. But talk about that ball coming off your foot and just carrying to the upper <laughs> corner. Oh, no, well, see, he was leaving the uh, top corner open, so, so I had to shoot it. No, uh, yeah, everyone was in the box, and uh, we had the wind, and it was blow taking, kind of taking the ball that way. So putting it back post was definitely kind of the idea. And uh, thankfully, it hit the back, actually hit the back post and went in. So, were you a little bit surprised when it carried in? What was your reaction to that? Um, I was really excited. I was just uh, had a big smile. So, yeah. And overall, the team to put up four goals today. Um, talk about how the way the offense was clicking. Really good. I mean, our runs off the ball were amazing, and it made it easy, especially for us back line, because they were running so great that all we had to do was make an easy pass. Especially Ricky up top, when he scored his goal, I mean, you can just see that. He ran straight through, Adam played a great ball, and it was a great finish, so very proud of everyone. Ricardo, a 4-1 to win for the Yellow Jackets today. You guys entered today's game as the top offense in the West region with 28 goals, and you didn't disappoint. Four more goals. Talk about the offense today. Well, everyone is scoring. We see JD, Thiago, Julian Dragomir. He's doing a great job on top. I believe he's number one right now leading the score so i mean i got a goal today after four 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 games being off wasn't easy but i'm glad to get a goal yeah talk about the play that you scored on is the ball adam kind of had it in the midfield you just basically went on a run he played it over the top and he scored yes i mean during practice we tried to make those runs and today was the day i saw him trying to play me the ball so i just made the run i was by myself so not an easy goal, though, but good job. And talk about Julian Dragomir, what he's brought to this team. You mentioned he's the leading scorer in the GNAC now with nine goals, four goals in his last two games. Talk about how effective he is up front. I mean, effective is incredibly effective. I mean, four games, four goals in two games. It's not easy. It's a reward of the hard work that he's doing. So I'm proud of him. And you have another game on Saturday against Seattle Pacific. Four games left on the schedule now. Uh, what are your plans for that game after a big win today? I mean, as I told the guys before the second half, if we, if we still want to go to nationals, every game is a final from now on. So recover today, tomorrow, and get focused for Saturday. Well, the game plan, Evan, was to pressure them high from the get-go. I think we executed on that, forced a couple of very early turnovers high up the field. We're able to take it to them, but another part of the game plan was to put it down and to try to play. We knew that the wind was going to play a factor today. Um, I'm very, very proud of how we made the ball move from side to side. We played vertically whenever the, the opportunity was there, and I think that our third goal that Julian Dragomir scored was a beautiful example of us stringing together 15, 20 passes and then a quality, quality cross from Oliver and a great finish with his head uh, by Julian Dragomir. So, great. I think performance overall, not too happy with how we conceded the goal because we were in the game and uh, it was a sloppy turnover, we were out of position and they were able to capitalize on that. But also very happy with the way we reacted because they scored their goal and we didn't, it didn't phase us. Uh, we scored a first, we scored a second very quickly and I think that that took the wind out of them. So very good win for us and I think that that can take us into the SPU game on Saturday with a lot of confidence. A lot of different players that you can highlight in this game. Julian Dragomir, two more goals. That gives him four goals his last two games. Chad Triplett, his first career goal, and then Ricardo, his first goal after uh, a bit of a dry spell for him. Talk about uh, the offense. Nine goals right now for Julian Dragomir. Um, I'm very, very proud of how that guy um, came into MSUB. Nine goals, four assists. It was tough for him. Um, to come in here and after not having played for a little while. So I think he deserves an enormous amount of credit for all the work that he's put in since the beginning of the season. Obviously, we would have loved to have him for more than, than this season, but the nine goals and the four assists that he's already contributed are just absolutely fantastic. He's exceeding everybody's expectations. I'm sure he's going to tell us that he's not exceeding his own expectations. Um, but also, Ricardo, after coming back uh, from a suspension, scoring a quality goal, Chad Triplett, very, very happy for him. This is his third start in a row. 
worked very hard at the beginning of the season, never gave up even after not playing a lot at the beginning of the season. But if you look at the stat sheet today, I think that every player that was eligible to step on the field saw some game time today. So this is, it's not just about the 11 players that started the game, it's about all 25. The guys that are on the bench supporting the team, picking, picking their teammates up after they, ma they make a mistake. So the synergy that we saw in the NNU game, especially at the end of the NNU game, you know, came back today throughout the game. So this was an absolute team effort. So I'm very, I'm very, very happy. And I'm very proud to be coaching these guys because this is what you want. You don't just want to have faith in your 11 players that start the game, but you want to have faith in every, in every single player that's on your roster. And we saw that today.